this is the last cut this is the the line going into the um, into the water I've been using uh, two stroke zero R blades for the whole pattern but I've changed up a blade here this is a probably a number number four or maybe five and uh, I'm just going to use the kerf of the blade to uh, act as the line so I'd have to keep going backwards and forwards Okay, I'll um, start getting the pattern off. Okay, um, before I take the pattern off, um, I tried to remain faithful to the pattern by Grandpa on the Scroll Saw forum. Um, it's a fantastic pattern. Um, yeah, like I say, I try to remain faithful and cut every bit that I see, so um, that all went well. The only thing that was um, kind of confusing me a little bit was the rod. Now the rod on the pattern was cut in two at this point um, to let the, the mounting range go through. But for me, um, the rod has to be in front of the mountain, right? So I made a small change there. Instead of you know stopping the cut here and starting again there, I went straight through with the rod, so it's in one piece. But I stopped with the the landscape up to the rod. Okay, everyone. So this is this is it. Um, hasn't actually worked out um, as I envisioned. Um, this was obviously a knot hole, right? Um, and I just thought it would be great if the line ended up in a knot hole. Um, these are the ripples on the pattern this is a part of the pattern as well but it just doesn't look right at all maybe if the knot was still in there maybe i don't know something not right this is cedar by the way and i took this down on the planer to about six mil yeah not a great result but um i'll do a little clean up on there i might even put it in a small frame and um it'll go up on the wall in the shed just as a reminder not to try and be too clever with <laughs> knots and stuff i'm trying to see if it looks different from or looks better from different angles but um it looks like he's caught something but it's um it's not looking good never mind thank you everyone for watching cheers bye bye